Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be doing an updated foundation routine, which is exciting because I'm way overdue for one. I think, well, I've actually only done one, but I think it was like seven, six or seven months ago or something that I did it. Um, so I'm gonna be going through step by step and I am gonna be doing a talk through. Normally I do voiceovers, but I decided, I don't know what made me wanna do a talk through, but I'm gonna do a talk through so that way I can explain everything and why I'm doing it. And I just watched Homeland, so I'm like really pumped right now because it was the most extreme episode of TV I think I've ever watched. I think Homeland actually tops Breaking Bad and Dexter, which are like my top two shows of all time, besides I Love Lucy. Okay, so obviously I don't have anything on my face right now besides my eye makeup and my eyebrows. I like to do my eye makeup before I do my uh, complexion stuff. I know some people have said that it really bothers them or they find it very annoying that I do my eye makeup before my foundation and I don't really understand why. Um, I tend to get some fallout when I do my eyeshadow and I just think it's easier to do my eye makeup before I do my face. So if that bothers you, I'm sorry, I don't really know why it would bother you, but it just works out better for me, so that's why I do it. So the first thing that I like to do uh, if I'm doing my makeup is moisturize my skin and I go back and forth. Sometimes I try new things, but I really stick between two. Um, one of them is my CeraVe moisturizer, which I will link my skincare video that I did a while ago. It's pretty similar to that. And then another one that I use is my MAC Mineralized Charged Water Moisture Gel. I just like to use them both. I go back and forth. This is what I'm using right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And all of it is in the lid from when I was traveling. So I just use like a small amount and I just put it on like normal. Okay, so typically I would do my moisturizer right when I get out of the shower, and then some of you had questions about uh, the Sephora stuff that I've been using. So this is the Gradual Self-Tanning Face Water. I got it at Sephora this past summer, and I'm definitely not very consistent with it, but I wanted to show you guys how I use it. One of the main reasons why I'm doing an updated foundation routine is, as you can see, my skin is very fair. Um, I did get a spray tan a couple weeks ago, and my NC30 from MAC was almost too light. That's how tan it made me. But uh, yeah, I exfoliated the crap out of my face and my body and now I'm back to like my regular color. So if I wanna get a little bit of extra color, um, I like to use this. This is, it's nice, it's face water so it feels better than like a cream or a lotion uh, to me. And then I just, like that, put it in like a little cotton pad. Um, I don't like to use a cotton ball because it absorbs too much product. And then what I do is I just put it in all the areas that like I would put a bronzer. So like my forehead, down here, and over here. And I definitely don't like the smell <laughs> of this stuff. It has a very like uh, banana boat, fufu, like Hawaiian drink kind of smell, but I actually, it works pretty well. So if you do it, I wanna say I did it like four or five times back to back, like morning and night, and my face is actually like pretty tan. So I'm just showing you guys what I would do. Honestly, I don't do it all the time though because I'm, I guess, kind of lazy with it, but that's what I do. Okay, and then I'm gonna let that absorb and dry into my skin. Oh shit. All right, and next on my list of things I'm gonna add to my face is a primer. And right now I'm using the Benefit Professional Primer. Um, I have actually been liking this one a lot lately. Um, I really like the smell of it. It's very like soft and not overpowering. Like this tanner stuff is very potent. But also I do notice a difference just like on my nose. That's typically where I can see like little oil dots throughout the day and I just feel like this helps prevent that. And then also around the eye area because I do have uh, drier skin around my eyes. So this helps out a lot when I put on concealer. So I just take a little bit and then I put it on areas that I feel like I really need it. So around the eyes and then around the nose and like here. Okay, so once everything is absorbed into the skin, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding on my makeup. So the first place that I like to conceal is around my eye area and I've been experimenting with a lot of different concealers lately. I do like a lot of them, but still like my favorite one that I always go back to is the MAC Select Cover Up in the shade NW20. So you always wanna use like a beige or pinkish undertone if you're trying to cancel out any dark circles that you have around your eyes. So I don't know, I just really like this one. I like the consistency of it. I've tried Pro Longwear and I just don't really like it. It's, I feel like it's not very good for drier skin and it just, it feels like it dries tight. I just don't really, I just don't like it that much. So then what I do, and I use everything on a, a glass coaster 
Uh, mainly so that way I don't have to use the back of my hand because it absorbs a lot of product and this way I can keep it really clean. So I'm just going to take that and then I have my crown concealer brush and I'm just going to add some to my under eyes. So I like to add it kind of like right in the center and then I'll buff that out. And then to buff it out I like to use this brush right now. This is the e.l.f. small stipple brush. I think it was like three dollars so I like that. Okay so now that I am properly concealed I'm gonna go ahead and start with my foundation and I actually just recently changed up my foundation so I've been using MAC Studio Fix Fluid for a really long time um, but when I did my video a few days ago with like the pink sparkly a whole lot of everything going on a lot of you guys noticed how all of a sudden I was way tanner after I put on my foundation that's because it was too dark, so now I have switched back and I'm using my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I also have MAC Studio Fix Fluid in shade NC25, which is obviously lighter than NC30, but it's still, it's a little bit too yellow for me actually. When I get really fair, I tend to go a little bit more neutral and less yellow. I really love this formula, Sheer Glow. Um, it's definitely not sheer and it doesn't glow. It's a pretty full coverage. It's very similar to Studio Fix Fluid. Um, it's just not quite as like gritty and like chalky, I guess. Um, it's more expensive than Studio Fix. This is like $42. I want to say it's like in the same price range as Makeup Forever. But I'm always willing to throw down for my foundation because I feel like I can definitely tell a difference. I did just pick this up though, the uh, Ready Set Gorgeous from CoverGirl. Just because I felt the color was like kind of close to this. So I'm going to try it out uh, soon. You have to be careful when you dump it out because I don't have like the pump for it. I hate that I have to buy it separately. I have my foundation out on my little tray. And for the brush, I go back and forth between Real Techniques and Sigma all the time. And right now I'm using Sigma. So I'm using the Flat Top Kabuki, the F80 brush. There are so many um, like dupes for this brush out there. I know Crown has some. Uh, a lot of people have one, but I mean I have this one, so I'm going to use it. And then I just start buffing it into the skin. I don't think this middle part's gonna work out. Okay, so I just finished my foundation and it gave me a nice, even, full coverage. Um, you can build up the Sheer Glow foundation. Um, it's not quite as thick or as full of a coverage as the Studio Fix Fluid is, so that's another benefit to that one if you want to do that. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna highlight my skin, so just kind of in this area right here. And there are a lot of different ways that you can highlight. Um, I'm just gonna show you a few things that I have used that have worked out pretty well for me. Um, the Sephora brand, this is uh, the Smoothing and Brightening Concealer. That one's really good, still kind of pricey. I have the YSL one, which is definitely not worth the money. I have the Maybelline Age Rewind. This one's pretty good in the shade Light uh, to do some brightening. The CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous, this one is also in the shade Light. That one's okay. It's a little bit too uh, pinky, but it's still good. Um, I also have the NARS Custard one, which is good, but I'm a little bit too fair for that. So I'm actually going to stick with my favorite, which is the MAC Prep and Prime Pen in the shade Light Boost. And I know a lot of people say this is like way too many layers and way too much makeup, but this is just what works out best for me. Um, so I just put a few stripes like right underneath the eye area, not directly on the eyes, on both sides, and I take it all the way out. And then you could also take it just straight down your nose if you want to highlight a little bit. Um, this can kind of help to reshape your nose a little bit. And then I'm just going to take a damp beauty blender. I have like, <laughs> mine's just gigantic right now. Um, and then I just like to buff it out. And then to set underneath my eyes, I'm going to use my Ben Nye Cameo Powder. I've been using this for a really long time actually. And it's still one of my favorite powders to use just because it's so lightweight. I just tap a little bit into the lid and then for the brush around my eyes, I'm using this one from e.l.f. Let's see if I can figure this out. And this is their small tapered brush. For $3, this is like a really amazing brush. It has kind of a point to it so that way it can get right in like that eye area. And then it's also obviously tapered just so that way it can help to add product evenly around the eyes. Um, I know I've been using one from Up and Up, the Target brand, for a while. That one's actually a blush brush. It's not quite as tapered as this one, so that's why I like this one a lot more. It just helps to spread the product out a little bit more evenly. And then I just set it under my eye. But uh, something I recommend for if you have like bad creasing problems, seriously, just keep one of these 
a clean one in your purse and just throughout the day I would just buff it. You don't necessarily need to add more product um, to your brush, just buffing it out will help to kind of move the product around so that way it's not settling into those areas around your eyes. Um, so I do like to set my foundation with uh, a sheer pressed powder and this is from MAC and it is shade NC30. So it's the same color as the Studio Fix that I used to use but it's pretty sheer. Um, and then I'm just using a fluffy brush. This is uh, from Sigma F30 but you can use any large powder brush. So now our face is uh, pretty much ready for any like contouring or highlighting or any other highlighting that you want to do. Um, so next what I'm going to do is contour and I've been using the same stuff for a really long time. It is this powder right here and that is Sculpt. It is the sculpting powder from MAC and the actual name of it is Sculpt. I really like it because it's not too orangey. I don't like to use a bronzer. Um, you don't want to use anything that's like really bronzy, like too orange. Um, you want to use something that's matte, just that way it doesn't reflect the light. You want it to look like an actual shadow in your skin. And when I personally contour, I don't like to use something um, like those NARS brushes are really popular that are kind of like long and skinny. I don't like to use anything too defined just because I don't want anything to look too sharp. So I like to use this brush. This is the same brush I've been using for a long time. It was out of a kit from Costco. I just like it because it's angled, um, so if I have a heavy hand, it's still okay. It won't put too much product on. And then I just add it right here. Okay, so the cheeks are done as far as contouring, and then you can always contour your nose. Um, I've definitely gotten very heavy-handed <laughs> with a nose contour in the past. Um, sometimes I find myself not even contouring my nose at all anymore. So if I wanted to do it right now, I would use a very um, not super dense, bleh. I would use a not super dense brush. This is a tapered blending brush from Sigma E40. <clears throat> Some people like to use really dense brushes and apply like a cream or something and then buff it out. I like to use powders when I contour. I feel like they're a little bit more forgiving and they're also easier to use and they don't really move around um, as much as a liquid or cream might do on your face. Okay, so I'm just taking this brush and dipping it into the same Sculpt Powder from MAC, and I use a very small amount. And what you wanna do if you want to contour your nose is if you want your nose to look narrower, which I wouldn't really say I want my nose to look narrower, just maybe a little bit more straight. That's why I put a straight highlight thing down my nose. So if you want your nose to look more narrow, you're going to want to bring up the contour lines closer together. Um, if you want your nose to look wider, which is pretty uncommon, you would bring them further apart. I just like it to look a little bit more straight, um, so I just kind of make a straight line down my nose, just really lightly. And then I buff it down the side. It is very, very easy to get carried away with nose contour. I've done it many times because you don't even really notice like what's going on. If you want your nose to look shorter, you're gonna wanna cut uh, right across here with a little contour as well. My hair is like out of control right now. Okay, so now for bronzing the skin. Personally like to use bronzers that don't have any shimmer in it. I like matte bronzers. I've realized over the years that I like my skin to look matte and then add highlight where I want it to shine. Um, I have a few favorite bronzers that I've really been loving. One of them is from Galactic, and this is their face bronzer in the color, or it's a matte bronzer. This is the color Cabo. This one's really good if you kind of have like more fair to neutral skin tone. It's very neutral, so it's not very, very orange. Okay, so then what I do is I just put a little bit on the brush, and then I just start buffing it um, into the hairline and then around my face, like so. Can't really see what I'm doing right now, so bear with me here. But I feel like bronzer can really just make you look more awake and uh, bronzed and just make you feel like you have more of a healthy glow, especially out here in California where everybody stays tan year round. It's like, what the hell? Why am I so pale? But it's okay. It's a little bit of bronzer. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't see. Okay, and then for blushes, I personally like to have more of a like modest toned blush because I tend to do really bold eyes or really bold lips or both sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna use Madly blush. I told myself I wasn't gonna use it, but I'm gonna do it. 
So this is Madly from NARS. And then I think every single time I do my foundation and blush in a video, somebody asks me what brush this is. This is a crown chisel blush brush IB126. This is one of their Italian badger hair blush brushes. And I, so many blush brushes are like really little and they tell you to like just put it on the apples of your cheeks. And I feel like I don't want to do that. But I just apply it in between like the highlight and then the contour. So that way it all blends together. Yes. Okay, and for lipstick today, I'm going to try something new. Even though I don't think it's going to go with my eyeshadow at all. Um, I got the ColourPop Cosmetics in the color Wet. And this is a pearlized lipstick and then the lip liner. And I swatched them uh, side by side with the Viva Glam Rihanna 2 because I bought it. Because it's like a taupey weird brown shade and it's literally the exact same and this was five dollars so this is like really really um nice and smooth <laughs> i look so good right now um these are really really nice and smooth and i'm like kind of obsessed with this brand right now i don't love the packaging on this it's kind of whatever but it's different so it's cool what okay so i have the um Viva Glam lip gloss. I'm gonna put that on too because why not? My camera battery is about to die. It's like flash. Are we good? We're good. Okay, so I just had to let uh, my batteries charge my camera because everything died all at once. So um, yeah, that wraps up my foundation routine. Oh, this lipstick, I really do love it. It has an interesting flavor though. It's kind of like woody. Okay, so that wraps up my foundation routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully um, I'm not like a professional makeup artist or anything, but hopefully some of my tips and tricks will be helpful to you guys. I will make sure to describe or list or link as much as I can in the description box down below so that way you guys can check out all the stuff that I used. I guess I'm done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.